the memory immune response, which is an immune response that develops in patients that have long-standing allergy, we've shown that that can be turned off using a new treatment. Before the immune system is mature, it tends to generate allergic type responses. So if you're exposed to allergens early in life, then you will often develop an allergy. Each time you're exposed, the response gets bigger and bigger and bigger. What we've shown is that we are able to interrupt that process so that between those re-exposures to allergen that would make the response worse, we can actually turn off the response. What that means is that the disease is stopped in its tracks. Um, current approaches to this disease really use drugs that uh, limit the side effects, limit the acute symptoms, but what we do is we stop the underlying disease that causes those symptoms. That could revolutionise treatment for severe allergies. Um, it would prevent, we think, some of the life-threatening allergic episodes that occurs for people who are allergic to foods, for instance. If they were, for instance, to go to a restaurant and be exposed to shellfish, for instance, and they weren't aware that that was in the food, um, kids with peanut allergies, for instance, uh, could go to school um, without any fear of you know, being contaminated from other kids' food. In severe asthma, a lot of the acute symptoms are generated by exposure to allergens. And so this approach to therapy is applicable there also. So what we do is we stop the underlying immune response that causes the pathology that leads to the acute symptoms. So we envisage in the future with uh, this approach that they could go to the doctor's uh, rooms, get a single treatment, and that would give them permanent protection from future allergic attacks or asthma attacks. We take a small amount of a gene, the one that uh, is responsible for the production of the allergen. We insert that into uh, cells of the bone marrow and we inject those bone marrow cells into the recipient. Uh, the cells that develop from those transferred bone marrow cells then act to turn off the um, unwanted components of the immune response. So we see another five or six years of additional laboratory work, then we could start to test this in humans and we think maybe five to six years worth of work there before application. Of course, one of the things that would really accelerate this work is to obtain additional research funding.